Greetings and salutations. It is part two of our crew career save. Um, we're now sort of halfway through the, or most of the way through the transfer window. Done all our friendlies. And we're ready to go into the first game of the season. So we didn't have much money to spend. We had 10 grand, which is kind of nothing. Um, and a, a small amount of wages. So we haven't actually done many transfers. It was quite tricky to uh, get some players. Um, so first of all, with the outs, uh, the only player we let go was Marcus Harbour. Um, he's a striker, 26 years old, which is ancient for the crew team. Um, he was a free. Nobody wanted to pay him pay any money, but he was only 1,300 a week. He was like fourth stroke, fifth stroke, choice striker, um, not that good. And so I thought I'd let him go, just to get him off the wage budget, really. Um, the ins we got Nana Uwusu on loan from Reading. Um, we were desperate in need of a left back. He can also cover right back. He's got decent physicals. We're not paying any wages, so I'm quite happy with that. And also, I mainly bought him because his surname's Dick, and I'm childish. Uh, no, he's a hundred grand, which is you know it's quite a fair amount of money. But he's got a lot of um, potential ability. Um, did we get him from Falkirk? Yeah. Um, I think it was like twenty thousand up front and three years over 100 grand over three years that's how poor we are um but like i said his name's liam dick so you know whatever why would you not buy him uh, but he's actually half decent good determination work great he should improve looking forward to seeing him play um so that covered our big hole that we had at left back we literally had no nobody that could play left back um a couple of other uh transfers do 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 yeah, we have uh, Brandon Mealy, Mealy, Meal, Mealy. Quality player, this kid. Um, picked him up. I actually found him in my Motherford Town save, um, which was one of the previous. It was my beta save with the Creator Club, um, but I couldn't get him because I was like Conference South. But I kept a note of him and I went straight in for him this time round. Um, 20 years old, absolute decent player I'm really looking forward to using him quite versatile he doesn't come until I think January um, it was a Newcastle youngster and then he went to Bluebell <laughs> fuck a Bluebell United uh, and then uh, he went to Shamrock Rovers on a free and played a full season did well there so I picked him up um, uh, end of contract so lovely and the final one is Juan Arango. This is another player that I found on a previous save. 17-year-old um, Colombian. <clears throat> he has failed to get a work permit. Um, but he's actually not joining us for a year, I think. Um, but he just looks like... I just took a punt on him. If I, if I get him and I can't get him a work permit, I can always just sell him on or try and loan him out to get his work permit or apply for a new one if he's getting some game time. But um, 16 under 20 caps for Colombia. Um, can't go wrong really with that, I don't think. Um, and it cost £20,000. So, yeah, that's about it. Not much. There's still a few bits happening. Obviously, we've got a month to go, so there might be more, more ins and outs. So I think my biggest achievement so far is hanging on to George Cooper. Um, he's a really eight, he's only 18 years old. Got a ton. Really good prospect. Um, and I had a, a lot of teams sniffing around. Um, I initially, he's valued at 325. Um, I initially put a transfer of a two million pounds, a value of two million pounds on him. And I kept getting offers around half a million and then it slowly went up. I think the last offer I had was one, but I've moved it up actually, but 1.1 million, which it was tempting the 1.1 million but I thought there's not that many players I can actually bring in that want to come and I've got no wage budget so you know the money wouldn't really help and we're not you know we've got 1.4 million in the bank so it's not a drastic thing but he's got two years left on his contract I'm probably going to play him all year and then maybe sell him hopefully for a couple of million and that's about it um the schedule so far I let my assistants do all the friendlies um I managed to arrange a friendly cup, a, the, a friendly league at the beginning of the season, close season, and I uh, made sort of 300,000 from that, which was quite good. And then we won all our other <coughs> friendlies. 
Um, we also managed to get Swansea as a parent club, but we didn't manage to get. We got two loan offers accepted, but they all fucked off elsewhere. Tactics we're going to be doing. So we're going to go for a four-four-two counter-attacking because we're sort of favourites for relegation here. So we, I'm under no illusion that we're going to, we're going to struggle. Um, so I'm going to try a four-four-two. I'm going to try out a couple of things that I don't usually do, like a wide playmaker, because why not? Um, but pretty sort of standard counter-attacking. Um, I want us to keep the ball a little bit, um, play out of defence, um, pass the ball into space for our sort of quick players, and just be more expressive. Let them go for a bit and then see how crap they are and then decide what to do. Um, but yeah, I think that's about sort of sums up our season so far. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're getting rid of one other defender that was just shit on a freebie just to get him off the wage budget, but that's about it. But there might be some movement still, we never know, we'll have to see. And we are all set up. I will save the game to my cloud, you know, because that's how I roll nowadays. Anybody that's watched my previous videos will know what I'm talking about. But I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a really young team. We have one player over 30. The average age is about 22, I think. Um, by far the youngest team in the league. So, And we're supposed to battle against relegation. So let's do it. Um, sort of best players, obviously George Cooper. We've got a really good goalkeeper. We've got David Fox, he's our older player. He's going to be set a deep line playmaker midfield. Uh, Dalla Valley is a decent player as well. Let's do this, boys. Dick's getting his uh, debut uh, left back. Wow. That's a deep lying 4 4 2 for Port Vale. Uh, let's just make sure we've got. Uh, I don't want extended, I want key highlights, replays for the goals. Biddy 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 bi. That'll do nicely. Oh, it should have looked at what you wanted to say, but that's all good, that's all good. Don't worry about that, boys. Got all our stats up that we want to do, and we are off. Look forward to a good season. I'm hoping realistically, uh, because we're a young, pretty poor team, I'm gonna hope and aim for sort of mid-table safety oh I just finished my coffee off that was delicious oh, I watched the England game I don't know why I recorded the England game against Spain fuck me they were dreadful it's like watching when you see like Histon apologies to all those Histon fans um, but it's like watching Histon play Arsenal in the FA Cup where it's like, okay, we're just going to defend, we're just going to defend, and hopefully nick a goal. And then when they do get the ball, they just panic with it because they're, like, oh my god, we might have a chance here. We just panic. It was what, like watching that. It was, it was awful. We're going to do it. I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. It's England. We're always like this. I don't know why I expect different. Go on, Inman. Oh, he saved it. Still got no. Just get up, Inman. Get up. I don't know why I do it to myself watching England games. But you just can't not, can you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sort of punishment that we're just born with to having to support England. Right, Dick. <laughs> I'm so childish. There you go, the old man Fox with a poor ball. His old legs can't keep up. Fox again loses the edder. Oh, Tut Turton, I'm gonna takes me a while to get used to the names. In mid the right midfield, he's more our more attacking midfielder. So we're gonna see how that goes. Just sort of see which side's working nicely. Hoof, ah, good old League One football. How I've missed thee. I've got it on key highlights, haven't I? Oh, he's, he's made a mistake on poking through. Yes, Callum Saunders got in. Yes, nice boys. Good start. Long ball through. Oh, McGiven has a shocker. Keeper. He just pokes it. Just pokes it. 
Ben Olmick didn't get down to it, just did the, like a lemon and paid the price. I think I've got three more club guides to do. I'm kind of getting a bit fed up with doing those now. I've done 17. I might get around to doing like lower divisions or just maybe the odd foreign club if it's like suggested, but it'd be nice to get those done. I hope you like the thumbnail for these videos. Because I, I watch a lot of YouTube and I'll watch I watch way more YouTube than I do TV nowadays um, but I watch a lot of uh, YouTube and I watch a lot of football manager streams that's why I decided to do it because it looks sort of fun hang on got an important team talk to do I'll join you with you shortly I'm very happy with the performance so far boys everybody's pretty fit all good yeah I love watching a lot of YouTube videos and I watch a lot of FM and there's obviously a, there's a massive theme with the thumbnails for people's series like if it's a Liverpool save or a, let's say a Chelsea save it'll be like cool flash Chelsea badge and then like a background in Chelsea colours and then it'll be like a swish of a player and it'll be like Diego Costa and Fabregas and it'll, it'll look amazing it'll look really professional and stuff I thought that's no fun that's why my lead save has got the fucking the, the owner who I've totally forgotten his name. Italian man with laser beams eyes. <laughs> and that's why I have a crew save with babies on the pitch. You know, that's how I roll. Gives you an idea of these videos, I think. I think Dalla Valley could be a good player this season. Hoping so. And so, like I said, I've only got three player instructions, uh, team instructions, to start with. Um, it's better to start off with less and then chop and change and add more. Fox picks it up in the midfield, plays it through to Dalla Valley, plays it out wide to Inman. Is he going to whip one in? He has. That's a great ball in. And Saunders gets his second. What a pass that is. Inman, your little legend. Saunders with a tap in. He goes over to celebrate with the one steward there. That's his dad. Great ball in. I don't know what that centre back's like five yards deeper than everybody else. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, play everyone on side. <laughs> what a start, boys. What a start this is. Remember, relegation, every win is is very valuable for us. And if there is anyone French watching um, or the fucking news last night what happened last night apparently 120 dead and shit my, my prayers and thoughts are with you guys because it's fucking horrible that is that was awful couldn't believe that can't believe that sort of shit goes on I won't get all political and stuff but just know our thoughts are with you Oh, that's what you call a clearance. Just getting rid of it, lads. Let's make some substitutions. We'll see how this pans out. Is this going to be their highlight? It looks like it. Let Smith plays it on to Adul. Andul. Deep ball in back post. Turton has it covered. And again, Turton. Oh, you've got. Oh, I was lucky. That's a great tackle, though. Go on, lunge. I like a good two footed tackle. Keeper, do you want to pick that up? No, no. All right. Cool. Just wondering. Mm, let's have a look then. Um, we'll give Harry Wilson a run out. Inman's had a great game. We want to keep him nice and fresh. Uh, Murdoch for Dalla Valley. We'll let Sa Saunders try and get his hat trick. Got 20 minutes left. Do we go for the class triple sub? Like a boss. I do like this guy's name, Billy Bingham. How can you not love that? Yeah, take the old man off. Gone for the triple sub. Oh, and I watched the um, Ireland game. Um, won all. Decent. Great result for them, uh, really. Second half, couldn't see shit going on. It was so foggy. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, I felt sorry for the commentators. But, uh, yeah, won all. Great result. It's a shame they uh, got the goal back. But 
that gives them a great chance second leg in Ireland. The crowd are going to be nuts. Might try and get a ticket. I live in Northern Ireland, so I'm only up the road. Great result. But it'll be a fucking nightmare getting a ticket for that game. What a result, boys. What a result. Very nice victory. Suck it, Port Vale. How's that down the bottom there? What's the air like down there? We're up at the top in the smog. What a start to the league. What a start. Now we've got a fucking tricky game. So our second game of the episode is going to be Burnley in the League Cup. Nobody wants Guthrie. Wow, look at these big teams coming in. No, in, no one wants to buy Guthrie. It's really hard to sell players at lower leagues. I suppose nobody's got any money, so it's that kind of understandable. 50 grand, 50 grand, go 50 grand, 50 grand, 50 grand in there. Money! Money! <laughs> so, uh, I hate that program, it's funny. So, let any watch his storage walls. It's so fixed, it's so ridiculously fixed. I thought they offered seven quid. <laughs> they offered 300 quid. Cheers, Arlie Paul. Like seven grand though, is that all up front? Yeah, sweet, sweet monies. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Is that all up front, 300 quid? Or 500? I thought you said 300. 300. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Fee, 500. Potential value of 300 pounds. Oh, is it some shitty tax or something? Here we go, another one. Oh, it's, one, it's edging up, boys. It's edging up. Ah, oh, 1.3 million is the highest offer we've had so far. Watford are just not giving in. Oh, it's a lot of money. If he was, if his contract was running out, had if he had one year left, I'd take it. But if we get another year of development out of him, we might be able to get two, three million. That's what I'm hoping for. And if it all goes horribly tits... What? Yeah, he's getting pissed off. I said... A, I said... I said a good... I promised him if I they met my valuation. It's not my fucking valuation. No, oh, now everyone's pissed off. Oh, just you two? I don't even know who you are, Ryan Colclough. Who are you? Are you some youth player? You could shut up and get back in your hole. Yeah, why do you want to let him go? Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, oh, I haven't thought about it that way. Oh yeah, if we let our best players go, we might be a worse team. Oof. Fucking idiots. Get back in your hole. Got plebs. Why do I have to point that out to them? <laughs> Who's this Cole Clark? Okay, he's in my first team. <laughs> he's my backup. What idiots. Ah, so they've they've gone for the classic. We'll offer you nothing, even though you've already accepted seven. Seven grand, seven grand, mate. Probably should have just accepted it because he's more likely to pick one then, isn't he? Uh, um, yeah, he's going unless we see a very good offer for him. Two million, two million up front. He is yours, okay? Yeah, I've said it. I've said it on YouTube, so it's like a promise now. Two million up front. You are welcome to him. Or like two million spread over a bit, like a, a, let's say a million up front, a million, million over however many months with a 20% sell-on fee. And that's the only... I've got it under control. Of course I've got it under control, man. Got to bloody play Burnley now. Mm, Coops. Yeah, and all this fucking wanting to leave has tired him out. I have no real good left back. <laughs> this is this is the issue that I want to. <coughs> I'm currently training him, aren't I, to be a wide playmaker? But he's really not. He's a good player, so just just do the job there. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the rest of the team. We play really well. Then Dalla Valley didn't do much. 
but we're playing him as defensive forward, isn't he? He loves a bit of defensive forward, doesn't he? He loves it. Yeah, it's like your second favourite, mate. Don't ignore that red dot. Ignore that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, lads. Alright, so they're also playing a four to two, four four two even. Um. <laughs> Why would you have said that? Good luck out there. We're gonna need it. That's gonna inspire. Them. I'm tempted. I'm so. Te See, they loved it. They were all right with it. What a ridiculous thing you'd ever say. Like, oh, we're gonna get the shit kicked out of us, lads. But good luck. I got faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. Right, um, don't know what to expect from this game, really. No injuries. I'll take that. Um, no more than two goal loss would be fine. Box into the box. It rhymed, but I, I lost it there. I couldn't think of another th a third word. Gray picks it up, plays it through to Boyd, cross it in big hole. Mm, that's not 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 the best, not the best start, is it? It's not the most confident way to start again. My inspiring team talk wasn't enough. He dived. Look at that ref. He dived. And I put off my player, which means it's a free kick. And a yellow card for the diver. Okay. Maybe that was just a fluke and we're actually going to play alright. Oh, shut up, match settings. You can shut up. You spam my feed like a big spammy can of spam. I don't want that. Don't want that. At a time when I'm on there, just in case I don't spot it. Uh, substitution, yes. Don't need missed penalties. I see them. And we'll have the injuries. That's it. Everything else, shut the fudge up. Oh, Joey Barton, isn't it? Joey Barton plays for Burnley. <laughs> How are we going to cope with the big Joey B's? Oh. Okay, so, <laughs> so two minutes after two goals after twenty, so they're on for a nine nil. <laughs> but you know, we had a shot, so yeah. Oh, Garrett, little flappy Garrett, got to do better there, son. Here we go. Here's our chance. We're gonna get one back. Lafty. That's them. Why am I fucking looking at them? Ah, because it was like ooh, reverse psychology. Fox plays it to Dalla Valley. On to Saunders. Thinks it over the top. Inman picks it up. He's against two. What's he going to do? Just gives it to them. That's what he's going to do. Just sort of gave up, surrendered, and passed to them. Go on, lunge. Lunge. Oh. That's a great tackle. I want to ball out. Dalla Valley, come on. Play it simple, play it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Or oh, ping one over like that. Go on, go on, Saunders. Oh, what a goal. <clears throat> He's pounced on another mistake from the defender. This guy looks like he's he wants it this season. Yes. It's not going to be quite as embarrassing. Keen missed that header. Is that the... Man United kitty. Who cares? Stuff it, Man United. We're coming. We're coming after you. In about six or seven years, we'll be coming for you. Just hang around a bit, and we'll we'll be there eventually. Big Joey B picks it up, pings a pass out. That's what an England international does, you know. I love Joey Barnes' quotes about him. If he was playing for different teams, he would have got a hundred England caps and all this sort of stuff. Maybe if you shut your mouth for your whole career, you might have a few more caps. Tennings. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, fuck me. 
That's an OG, isn't it? That's an OG. It clearly, uh, my keeper clearly finished that off. The John O'Shea all over the place. <sighs> so Arfield plays it wide. Joey B. Hennings with a lovely little reverse pass through. Gray, donk, donk, donk. That's goalkeeper. He palmed it in. It was a great hand finish. He's claiming it. Dubious goals panel. Okay, so we're still on for 9 1. They've only had one clear cut chance. That's So I think they're scoring more than they, they actually deserve. Hang on to that. Hang on to that. I will be getting a better microphone in two days' time, guys, just to let you new people know. My blue snowball died. I have to use this crappy 1964 headset um, until I get that one back. And a new computer in two weeks. Yippee-dee. Just spent £1,600 on it yesterday. Good save. They're panicking. They are panicking. Yeah, just spent 1,600 quid of my hard-earned poker money. <laughs> it's not really hard-earned, just sitting in front of a computer while I eat chips and smoke. Boo boo. Okay. Not the worst half we've seen. Need a little bit more from Dick. <laughs> Uh, we should tell the team performance has not been good enough they're fired up they're ready to go second half <coughs> yeah they're, they're already looking panicked they're look, definitely looking more panicked 3-1 so I can have okay result Come on, just keep it quiet. We're not going to win, but let's just not get a thrash, please. That would be lovely. My girlfriend comes back from Canada tomorrow, lunchtime. So I'll have to go back to regular schedule bedtime. <laughs> Boo! Oh. You think when you get old, as you when you move out from home, you're like, woohoo, I got... I can go to bed when I want and then you get moving with the girlfriend and it just goes back to having parents and you're just like, oh, she gets all shitty with me if I don't go to bed. Because even though she falls, she's got like narcolepsy and she falls straight to sleep when we go to bed, she just, apparently she knows that I'm not there in her subconscious. But at least now I've got the excuse that I've got a YouTube channel. He's like, love, you know, the, the YouTube fans are calling out for me. I need to make another video. I've got to stay up for a bit longer. So that's cool. Go on, Kingy. Oh, cheeky back heel. Wilson. You tried along. <laughs> what was that? Pace the. Amazing. Players are getting a bit knackered. I might have to um, give them an extra day's rest because you can rest them like the day before and the day after. So if they're if they're not going to start start the games with full fitness, it seems okay at the moment. But we'll keep an eye on it and make sure they make full recoveries because that get, is getting a bit too low for my likings. And I built my manager profile to be a fitness coach um, to sort of help with that sort of stuff because that's always a bit of a pain at lower leagues. Okay, we've done. Look, we come back into the game. The second half, maybe they just sort of stop playing because they're three-one up. But let's pretend they d they didn't, and we just outclassed them second half. Oh, I'm gonna fucking score now. I've said that, aren't I? Guaranteed goal this one. Go. Yep. Sam fucking Vokes. Bournemouth reject. 
<sighs> Put your hands up for Sam Vokes. He loves the cherries. Dig it, 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 dig it. That was the song for Bournemouth, you know. The font of useless information I am. See, four one makes it look like a thrashing, doesn't it? Three one's like just well beaten. Four one's a bit, ugh, it's a bit, a bit rubbish. That I oh, don't, I ain't got time. Fuck off. There's no need for you to score. Just keep it there. Don't be assholes. Don't, your goal difference doesn't matter, does it? It's league cup. Just two footed lunging. Go on, leg breaker, Kitey. Ah, Okay, well it's to be expected, but 4-1 uh, was a bit yucky. Yucky is obviously a technical term in football. If you haven't heard of it, it's because you know, you're not on my level. You know, right? Ease to victory, fuck off. One half million in the bank. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Cash monies, people. That seven grand as well, coming in from the player sale. Sweet money. So next we've got Scundorn. So I think we will end the episode here. And I'll probably join you somewhere down here when I fancy it. Uh, there might be a few transfers. We, you will see if I've given in and sold George Cooper because Watford are just like some pestering girlfriend. I've got a thing against girlfriends, but I'm pretty sure no females listen to this channel. If there is any, hey, how you doing? But I doubt it. So, Aston Villa, Burnley, Sunderland, and Watford are currently interested. Burnley can fuck off after that result. You can pay four million Burnley if you want him. Anybody else, two. Yeah, so I'm going to play a few games, and then I'll record the next episode. Um, please leave a comment. I don't know if you're you guys are going to try out the crew save. It does look fun because the youth system is great and they've got some great youth talents. It's all about trying to hold which do you hold on to. You're going to have to sell some, I think, just to keep the club's finances going um, and allow you to improve in other areas. But I think mostly you, the idea is to keep as many of these good youngsters as possible, give them good training, um, buy yourself a dick, a left back, because um, why not? And... Uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you guys are doing a crew save or whatever save you're doing. Um, and uh, check out my other videos. got a Leeds career going on as well. Um, I've got my Mudderford beta save that's going on. Um, and yeah, and my club guides and shit. Yeah, bit of self-promotion because why not? It's my video. I say what I like. So, yeah, please subscribe. That would be brilliant. Um... I don't know what else to say really, that's about it. I'll probably just press the stop recording button now. I can't remember which key it was. Hot key. I think it was 